Welcome to Multi Traits. In today's lesson, we are going to learn about the differences between a reversible and irreversible reaction or a physical and a chemical change. So, what do you mean by reversible? Reversible means uh, you can bring it uh, back. That means if some, for example, if I am stretching a rubber band, once I release it, it goes back to the original shape. That's called a reversible. Does that make sense? Or you rubber band number stretchy one angular other extend down, but when I release it, it goes back to its normal shape, original shape. Irreversible changes the chala, yani pa rubber band burn chi on the jo. So then after some time it becomes an entirely different material substance. So I cannot bring it back to a rubber band again. So they are called irreversible changes. For example, if you have ice cream and cream and cream ice cream and condensed milk flavors once the lid to get in here, ice cream or long dark in I cannot bring back my original milk, milk or condensed milk or flavors. You don't know any separate temperature the lipid need because it's a, it has already formed an ice cream. So they are called irreversible change. But what about um, what about this? Um, melting so this one is it an example for uh, reversible or irreversible what do you think it is an example for reversible Alle? reversible and carbon ice melt down water on a water uh, freezing when everything solid or ice on so you there is we can interchange it so so there is nothing um, you are not getting any new substance so let's look at the definition a chemical change results in a new substance a physical change does not produce a new substance it changes from one form to another so it's the states of matter we have states of matter freezing and melting and evaporation so one form to another it will change but the molecules will still remain the same so they are called physical change chemical change in the an entirely new product we will start either the end in the entirely new thing so they are called chemical changes so everything of course part of the tunnel let's identify whether they are physical change or a chemical change nalla oru more lava cake and ivada thannirikkunnathu you can see the chocolate is oozing out of that cake what is a is it an example of a physical change or a chemical change a cake aanu cake endakka kodu undakkunnathu maida podi venam motta venam pinne baking powder venam uh, so there are different things. If we have a chocolate, we have a cake. Now we have to start with the materials. We have to start the end result is it the same or different? They are different. So it's definitely a chemical change. Now we have to evaporate. Boiling in the repatha, well, the Michigano, other telachon did care. If you have a lid to which it on the gill, what happens then? A vapor gas molecule, a lid day thirty at the condensing. So you get the water again, right? So gas turns to uh, liquid. So that is an example for a chemical physical change. What about this one? You know, the paper would have bought on the which it on the is that other north academia paper and a good to get to so it is an example for a physical change what about this paper that i have crushed 
Did I get a new material or is it the same material that I started with? It's the same material. So it is an example for a physical change. Ah, look at this. What is this one? At the end, end I get another. am I getting the same um, log of wood or do I get uh, carbon? I get carbon, right? So what happens? It's an example for a chemical change. In it, let's also have a look at the, whether they are reversible or irreversible. So this is irreversible. This is reversible, 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 and this is also irreversible. Alay. Kanam ti gati kariyane namak ti dicha maram kattam patthilla. So it is an also an example for uh, irreversible reaction. If paran yan thandiri ke nandan yu chale, it is easy for you to memorize if you are a visual learner. For those who are uh, visual learners, it, these pictures will help you to remember all these uh, topics. You don't need to memorize. Okay, so look at the pictures carefully. Reversible, think about rubber band. Rubber band is stretchy, it goes back to the original shape. Irreversible, think about ice cream or cake, whatever is easy for you. I started with flour, eggs, milk, butter, all this. But I ended up with the cake. Can I bring all those materials back from the cake? I cannot. So they are called irreversible changes. Physical and chemical changes. A chemical change results in a new substance. A physical change does not produce a new substance. So these are the examples. So you can point out which one is a physical change, which one is not a physical change. I hope this lesson is clear to you. Uh, please let me know uh, by giving me a thumbs up or share it with your friends. And let me know by commenting whether you understood this topic. Okay, thank you. Bye-bye.